this is one of the best all-around creator laptops that money can buy. Now, it is going to be more of the premium price point. This is the ThinkPad P1 Gen 6. This is Lenovo's premium lineup. And for somebody looking for a high-quality workstation that can take a lick in and keep on ticking, that is definitely going to be the ThinkPad series. Another laptop from Lenovo in the same category, which I reviewed earlier this year, is the X1 Extreme. However, this laptop, the P1, I find to be a much better performing option and at only a little bit more of the price. Now, right now, the price point of this laptop is around $27. $700 with the sales going on in the season, but definitely head down in the description below and click those links to check the exact live pricing. And of course, if you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now, there's one thing that I really don't like about this laptop, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But there's a number of features that make this laptop a great option for creator outside of even just the performance. So let's dive right in. Now, first and foremost, one of the best things about this laptop from a usability standpoint is you have a fully clickable trackpad with the click buttons integrated at the top of the trackpad. Now, what I love about this is you can rest your hand right here at the top of the trackpad and then you're right near your shortcuts, but you're also right in the click mode. So what we can do is it can go ahead and click the brush tool. I can click, begin to set my brush. So if I wanna work completely from the trackpad and keyboard, but I can also quickly switch to other tools to make it easier to work. And then I'm still right here at my click button. Normally, if you're gonna be using a trackpad, you have to click with this finger or you click with your thumb at the bottom of the trackpad. It allows you to keep your hand in place and therefore have better productivity so you're not moving your hands around so much during your everyday workflow. This might seem like a little thing, but it's a huge win on the productivity. You can spend more time thinking about your work than trying to locate your hands. Now, if you're somebody who also likes the little move around thing from ThinkPad, this is classic ThinkPad for decades now. I personally don't like this because it's kind of like really finicky, um, as in like it's like it's like all over the place. Maybe you could mess with the speed of it and, and really kind of fine tune it a little better. But you could also use that if you would like. But that is not going to be a feature that I'm going to point out as one that's like, woo, big win for creators. As I pointed out during the unboxing of this laptop, these upward facing grills are speakers indeed, except the speaker is right here. They really created the entire grill. It's all closed in behind this part, really for aesthetics, where the bottom section is just the speakers. You can actually see on the downward facing video how these are holes are filled in and these holes are open where the speakers come through. Here's a quick audio sample so you can hear what those sound like. Save an extra 6% on a Lenovo Legion laptop by heading down in the description below, clicking the link and using the discount code BENKAISER6. That will give you an extra 6% off even sale prices of a Lenovo Legion or Legion Lock laptop, and it's good till the end of the year. So head down in the description below, click the link, and use the code BENKAISER6. Save yourself some extra money. Don't even have to wait for the Black Friday deals. Now the keyboard is good. It has plastic keycaps, a medium key travel. This is like the exact keyboard that you find on the Legion series, minus having the numpad and the section that's dedicated for the arrow keys. So keep in mind, they're kind of tucked in here, but they don't mess with the shift key, which makes me very happy. You still have a full size shift key. Now here's a quick audio sample of me using the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear the noise and the loudness of them. See if it's a good fit for you. Now, if you're somebody who likes very specific control of your performance settings on your laptop, then I would not consider this laptop. The reason being is you can only edit the power settings by changing the Windows battery mode, and then it correlates with the Lenovo Commercial Vantage Center. So it's a lot of automated settings versus physical control. And I know a lot of you would prefer physical control, but if you're somebody who just wants the system to be optimized as it sees fit, and as you'll see later in this video, it does have great performance and we'll get into that. This would be a great pick for you if you're more of an automated kind of person versus wanting very strict control of your settings. But because it has such automated control, this gets me to my number one reason why I would push you away from this computer, and that's the battery life that it provides. So for the Passmark Productivity Benchmark, it gets about six hours and 21 minutes. Streaming video playback, about six hours and five minutes. Photoshop work, about two hours and 47 minutes. And then video editing, about an hour and 58 minutes. And that's all at 20% screen brightness on Windows Battery Saver mode. So definitely a killjoy in regards to battery life, especially that this is such a professional focused laptop. Usually professionals are people who are on the go, need to have a good battery life. But in this instance, you're going to want to bring the charger along with you. 
But when you see the performance this laptop gets at the price point, it may be the right pick for you. Now, speaking of the screen being at 20% screen brightness, you can reach 365 nits at full brightness, 100% sRGB, 97% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3, all at a Delta E of 0.98. So it does have a great screen. It's very clear, sharp, and has great color, and the brightness is solid. Now let's go ahead, close it down real quick and check out the build quality and assembly of this laptop. As you can see, the bottom cover fits into the side panels very nicely. This is one of my favorite laptops from Lenovo as far as how they choose to assemble it. This edge here is so flush. They do such a good job of fitting this laptop together very nicely. I love the carbon fiber. So it's a very soft touch material. And then of course the top cover is just absolutely beautiful with that carbon fiber texture. Lenovo does such a good job with these laptops. They are a beautiful piece of hardware. Now, going ahead and checking out the ports, on the left side, we have the SD card reader, two USB type A's and a Kensington lock. And then on the right side panel, we have a headphone jack, HDMI, two USB type C's and our power adapter. So a good amount of connectivity for this laptop. Now, considering the upgrade path on this laptop, you can see that we have two open RAM slots and one open SSD. So you can upgrade both RAM sticks, which is fantastic, but you won't be able to expand your storage unless you replace the current hard drive. So just keep that in mind. If you're considering this laptop for your on the go needs, it's fairly light. It is quite thin, but not super thin as much as I've seen other laptops, but the lightness is great with the carbon fiber chassis. So I'm really impressed with the weight of this laptop. Now, unlike a lot of laptops in the professional category, this one actually opens completely flat. Well, almost completely flat. You can see there's like a little bit of, of angle there. But a lot of laptops in the professional category usually stop right about here at that 45 degree angle. So this allows you to really be able to work in any type of work environment, whether you're close up or it's far away from you. It really gives you a lot of flexibility on how your screen is oriented. And I know for me, that's really helpful, especially if I'm working outside or in a bright room and I don't want to reflect the upward light off of me or the sun. I can really get it in just the right angle to have a really nice view. Keep in mind, if you do have a reflection, this is a glossy screen. So you're going to have a bit of that reflection off of it. Now it's not a high gloss. It gets a little bit of kind of a muted gloss but there still is some glossiness to it. Now, one of the unexpected things about this laptop for me personally was the touchscreen. I think it's really cool that it does come with a touchscreen. However, I have not been able to find a pen that has the right functionality. I've tried two Lenovo pens and one Asus pen, and I've not been able to get them to work. Now, upon visiting Lenovo's website, I looked at the model I have, and it says that there are no compatible pens according to the model I've selected. So what I'm going to do is I will put a comment below or a item in the description that lets you know if a pen is compatible with this specific device um, and which pen that is in case you wanna get it and if it is not. So just keep that in mind, but this is a touchscreen laptop, which I think is a really neat feature and probably pretty unexpected for me. Without further ado, let's get into the performance benchmarks of this laptop, starting out with Geekbench single core, multi-core from Cinebench R23, as well as Cinebench 2024. You didn't realize it'd be coming in here. We're already starting to benchmarks 2024. Okay. All right. So looking at these benchmarks, you can see this laptop does a good job with the i7-13800H. It does not exactly top the charts on a lot of these simulated benchmarks, but I think you're going to be impressed when we get into the real world benchmarks. Now kicking things off in Blender Classroom, you can see that this laptop does pull some solid performance in Blender Classroom up against some other really big dogs on the market. Now specifically, this laptop has an RTX 4080 and it's going up against some other 4090s as well as some RTX A5000. But as you can see, it pulls in at the top five with this benchmark going up against laptops like the Strix Scar 17. So this laptop definitely packs a punch. And taking a look at Photoshop, a fantastic score of 11. 80. After Effects, even more impressive at a 1000. For After Effects, if you're sitting around the 800 range, I'm usually really happy with these laptops, but this one has entered into the 1000 range, so that definitely shows some great performance will be happening inside of After Effects. And moving on to Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya PTC Creo destroys, does very, very well in the top running, top five on 
all of those tests. And then as we move on to SolidWorks, still very good option. Now, this is not a workstation GPU. It is a GeForce gaming GPU, but still has excellent performance for SolidWorks. So this would be across the board, a great 3D modeling and architecture laptop. Now, moving on into Premiere Pro, we're gonna start with the drop frames test. You could say it does well, but for an RTX 4080, it doesn't do as well as I would hoped. And that is for the nature of the ThinkPad. They are more optimized to run at an efficient level, not to really blast the fans at full blast or have it running at full bore. This is a workstation laptop for business people who really need a balance in their performance, both quiet and excellent performance. And it really meets that here at 444 drop frames for B-RAW and 1531 for red footage. So still very respectable, but it's not just gonna be like whining the fans the entire time. Now going ahead and taking a look at the 4K export. Again, like I said, we're going for balance here with this system. Not crazy fans, not crazy thermals, but still good performance. Three minutes and six seconds for the export time for 4K. And then looking at the 6K export, 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Now this year, I like to see laptops that are absolutely stellar performers around the 15 minute range, maybe a little less. But again, that's gonna be a little bit louder laptop. This is gonna be a little bit more of the professional quieter laptop. Taking a look at DaVinci Resolve, six minutes and 48 seconds. Again, a decent export time, nothing earth shattering. We're not setting any Guinness Book of World Records here on the channel. Now, the last thing I wanna observe is all the different export times. So you can see that on 1080p, about a 46 second export time of the nine minute clip, placed it in Premiere Pro and exported out at 1080p YouTube settings. Now going down the line, we go to 4K, then 6K. And as you can see, whether on battery life or plugged into power, we only have a minute difference between those export times. So this laptop still handles on power performance very well. If I was a business owner or professional looking for a laptop that was A, classy, B, durable, and C, had great performance, this would definitely be a pick. However, one of my disappointments is the battery life. I think with a laptop being such a great durable on the go friendly, as far as the form factor is concerned and the build materials, I wanted to see better battery life out of this laptop. So if that's something that you're okay with and you love the performance and all the rest of the stylings, this could be a great option for you. And definitely if you're considering something like the X1 Extreme or the P1, I would go for the P1 all the way. It's gonna have that extra bit of performance that you need over that X1 Extreme. Links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.